Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I'm back with our devotional. We're on day nine and it is the Slow Down and Let God Love You. It is a 12-day devotional and you can pick this up on Move the Mountains on Etsy. I always have the link below and if you purchase it, tell Amanda I sent you. Okay, and Amanda is amazing. So, all right, let's pray and then let's get started because Wow, this is really good, guys. So, anyways, all right, let's pray. Dear Lord, we bow before you and we thank you for this day. God, we praise your name. Wow, Lord, this is just such a good encouragement for many of us. And in a minute, we'll talk more about that. And God, is it's, it's an encouragement for all of us, but specifically, there is a group of us that this is just applicable. God, we just, we trust you as you walk us through your scripture. We trust you as you have these writers who encourage us. And we pray, God, that we can hear what you are trying to teach us. Help us to rest and be still. Lord, you are teaching us scripture like crazy in this. And God, I just love you for that. And I thank you for that. And your scripture is such an encouragement. And it makes me hungry for your word. And I pray that for everybody here. I pray that each of us will just hunger after your word. Lord, we give this time to you. We pray that our words would be your words. We pray that what we say would be a blessing to you and to others. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. So, first off, I asked if everybody wanted me to share a process video on day eight. Was it? Yeah, day eight. I didn't get any feedback, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, that video went up late, and this one's going up late. Hopefully by tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to get up early tomorrow either. We had a huge delay in our day, to, day today because my husband wasn't feeling well. So, um, but at least by Wednesday, I want to flip this. I want us to be able to do this at 5.30 in the morning, and the same thing as we move forward. I just find that 5.30 a.m., video seems to hit everybody's schedule a little bit better on our channel and for those of you who can't watch it later it's still there it's not a big deal you can still see it in the evening so um okay well i am i didn't get any feedback so what i'm going to do is come back tomorrow and i'm going to do day eight and today day nine journaling because my husband's getting ready to walk in the door any minute now and i've got to get some dinner started and i really kind of want to do those together if you guys want me to do a process video leave a comment below. Even though the comments are not getting published right away because I have to read them and then push them through. Um, and I always like to answer every comment, if at all possible, Lord willing. Um, then, um, but please leave the comment because I'll get it either way. Or you can email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. It is in, it is listed below as well in the information section. So if you guys want me to walk through a, a, a Bible journaling um, process video with you guys, I will be glad to. I've got some new paints, I've got some new things that came in, and I would love to share it. But if it doesn't work for your schedule, and you think, no, I, nah, I don't need that, it's not a problem. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Okay, guys. <laughs> Keeping it real, okay? <laughs> We're all friends here, right? Okay, so day nine, let's get going. This is so good. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4.15. Again, go back, read the context of that scripture. It's a great way to do it. Uh, do you have a person, maybe it's your mom and dad, so you guys know why I'm saying that, and a close friend, um, and if you guys don't know, I lost my mom, my dad, less than five months apart. And within um, about five months after that, I lost my, one of my best friends. So, I mean, I was just reading this thinking, oh my goodness, Lord. <laughs> so anyways, someone who is the first person you think to reach out to when you're excited or upset. And all three of those were that for me. Besides my husband. Um, my husband as well, I should say. <laughs> the only person that you need to trust, the only person you trust when you are afraid, the only person who will tell you what you need to hear instead of what you want to hear. That's a big deal. To find a friend who'll do that and say it in love is huge. Um, I have a current friend. She'll tell you what she thinks, but she thinks of it 
not in the best possible outcome for you. And and that's okay. I mean, I get it. I know where she's coming from. We've known each other a long, 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 long time. So it's okay. But my dear friend who I lost, wow, she could just cut to the chase. And in such a way that God would prick my heart and, yeah. So finding those friendships is so rare. But ask God, if you're in a season without a friend like that, then just ask God to show you a um, and find you a good friend. And uh, I'm kind of there too. So, you know, I, I think that those are good prayer requests. We should pray for our friends and ask God to bring godly people into our lives. Okay, did you ever realize that God wants to be your person? Yeah, he does. This is where it pricked me hard. Okay, he asked us to approach him with confidence. We have faith. We know who he is. We go to him without even thinking because we just know him like we know our spouse or our children or our parents or whoever it is that is in our life. We know them. So we just go to God. We have faith. This means that we don't ever have to worry that we are getting him at a bad time. He loved that. Or that our problems are too trivial for him. I remember in high school, I had this friend, she came to the Lord later, and she would literally pray if she should go get a haircut or not. And I was sitting there thinking, really? Is that a good use of your prayer life? You know, is that a good use of God's time? And then I realized, wow, good for her. Good for her. She loves God so much that she even wants to talk to him about things like that. And, you know, I find myself, because I just pray throughout the day, and sometimes I pray about what somebody else might see as trivial, but it's something I'm kind of needing to know. Like, you know, can I afford to go do this? Should I not go do it? Will I get the wrong person? Are they having a bad day? Will my hair look terrible? You know, all of that. So, anyways, what I was going to say here is it's good to make that kind of prayer. I think it's great. He asked us to approach him with confidence. Okay, hold on. Is there a problem that are too trivial for him. He's there, he cares, and he longs to hear from us, period. So he just wants fellowship with us. He wants to talk. He wants to sit down and chat, and he wants us to be there with him and to hear him and all of that. When we fall short in our lives and bring it to God, he is able to give mercy and grace in a way that only he can. You know that friend I was sharing with? She doesn't always have mercy and grace. She's pretty brutal at times. And the one that I, you know, have known for a long, long time. And, and I have to really realize, you know, at times, does it benefit our friendship to talk about these things? Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. But with God, it always benefits our friendship. It always benefits your friendship with the Lord when you sit down and you share your heart with Him. And, the, and when we go before Him in humble gratitude and thanksgiving, humble gratitude and thanksgiving, the heavens rejoice with us. So, that is a great statement right there. And when we go before him with humble grat gratitude and thanksgiving, the heavens rejoice with us. That is a perfect point to journal, if you haven't thought about it, for your Bible journaling. Just saying. <laughs> um, next time you have a moment where you want to call your person, quote-unquote, I want to challenge you to pause and talk to God first. He can't wait to hear from you. That's another great thing to, uh, to journal. So, you know, let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4.15 He can't wait to hear from you. There you go. Let's keep going. Who is your person? Who is the one that you go to? Write and mail them a note if they've been a godly encouragement to you. I wish I could. Um, they deserve to hear it. And I will tell you that when all three of them were alive, they knew how much I loved them, how much I appreciated them, how much I, I valued their input in my life. I made sure. Um, I tend to be overly that way, but it's because if you've ever lost anyone, you can't get it back. That time and that opportunity to share with them. What are some practical ways you can reach out to God when you want to talk to Him? You can write God a letter. 
You can, I write in my journal. I write to God. I pray. I read his word. I sing praises to him. I sing hymns to him. There's all kinds of ways. We can serve on behalf of him. And we're still reaching out to God. We can, you know, in our, when we say we read his word, we study his word. We'll know him better. We memorize his word. We know scripture. Write out a prayer telling God what is going on in your life right now. Ask him to be Lord over all of these pieces in your life. So, if I could say this, if you have not done that yet, and you're on this day nine, please stop. Take five minutes. Five. Five. Five minutes. That's as long as it takes to research on something online or... Um, you know, check your phone and scroll through your, your feed um, to find something on TV. Five minutes. You know, and if you're like me, I can't always get alone and go do it. So just do what you can, okay? But take that five minutes and go seek him and love him and tell him what's going on and enjoy that moment. And if it's something you don't want anybody to read, write it and then burn it in the trash can if you if you write it on paper. Um, you, you never know. And I have to tell you that some of the most beautiful things I've ever written are when people were writing their prayers to God and they have long gone on. And I'm going to be honest, people are honest. Sometimes they say things and you're like, ooh, that was a bad day. But you know what? It makes me realize I have bad days too. I appreciate that. So take a few minutes, go write a letter to God. And just be with him and do what you can do to grow in your relationship with him this day. Okay, my dear sweet friends, let's pray and I'm going to let you go. Can you believe how quickly I didn't run on this time? I think I overdid yesterday, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it was just so great to have a working camera. So, um, and I miss you guys. You know that. When we're not together, I miss you guys. So, all right, let's pray. I'm going to let you go and then I'm going to go start greens pesto pasta for my husband so and my daughter all right friends let's pray dear lord we humbly bow before you and we thank you for this day lord help us to run to you not just go to you but to run to you when we have something to talk about whether it be good or bad or concerning whatever it is that we're going through and we're seeking advice or we're wanting encouragement back help us to go to you first and lord if some of us are without those people in our lives all of a sudden Lord please send each of us a godly Titus 2 woman or a godly man if it's a man right now Lord and help us to find those in our lives that we can come alongside and encourage each other in you that iron would sharpen iron so Lord as we bow before you right now help each and every person to write that prayer Thank you, Lord. We give you everything. In your son's precious name I pray. Amen. Perfect timing. My husband came in. All right, friends. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Keep serving Jesus well. He's just waiting to be your friend. He's waiting to talk with you. He loves you so very, very much. Okay, friends. I will be talking to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.